In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Today we're looking at the fourth episode of uh, these couple of verses. Today we're focusing on um, the last part of verse 33. Uh, yesterday we saw uh, there they crucified him. Today we're looking at and the criminals, one on the right hand and the other on the left. So it just shows again scripture is constantly revealing the way revealing the way of christ and the way as christ and the way of love is that he is constantly surrounded by criminals in fact it says that it gives the detail that he has one criminal on the right hand side and one criminal on the left and this to me reminds me of of uh, the parable of the day of judgment where he says that uh, uh, the sheep and the goats will be one on the right and one on the left the difference between the two criminals is one recognizes him and the other doesn't and we'll see that in, in a few days where you know one of the criminals says remember me when you come into your kingdom um, so one criminal recognizes him, the other doesn't. Before we get to, to that passage, I just wanted to really meditate on that way of love, that way of being surrounded by those who are undeserving, uh, by being surrounded by criminals. I want to read to you a poem from um, a part of the that book I had mentioned to you before, Christ the Eternal Tao. He has a little beautiful section about how he was condemned um, uh, and, and the people that were around him. It goes like this. He was condemned as a friend of harlots, and the harlots became virgins. He was condemned as a friend of thieves, and the thieves restored their stolen goods fourfold. He was condemned as a friend of poor fishermen, and the poor fishermen caught the universe in their nets. He was condemned as a friend of outcasts, and the outcasts inherited his kingdom. He was condemned, and they were created new. He wept over what his creation had made of itself, and by his tears was it remade. Restored to its true nature, its primitive origin, the first creation was of dust, was of the dust of the ground, the second of water and spirit. The Lord, when he uh, called Levi to be his disciple, the Pharisees uh, um, got so annoyed that he called a tax collector. But then Levi threw a party for uh, all of his friends and the Lord sat at the table with them. And the Pharisees cry out and say, How, is this, how does this make sense? How does it? He sits and eats with sinners. This is the way of love. He sits and eats with sinner. That image is the image of the kingdom itself. And so the, this image of God sitting with sinners, uh, uh, God um, uh, is sitting at the table and there's a harlot there uh, washing his feet, um, sitting at the well and the Samaritan woman having a conversation with him and finally him being crucified surrounded by criminals this is who he constantly surrounded himself with and we see his heart because he says i did not come for the righteous but rather that the sinner may repent and even in this moment of his crucifixion instead of thinking of himself he is surrounded himself with criminals, one of which will be his disciples. Today, may we stand in awe at the beauty of the way. The one who is God, the one who is holy, the one who is the only one who can truly, deservingly and properly, as judge of the world, set himself apart, chooses to surround himself with criminals in order that he may save one of them. When we are accused of being with people 
who are of lower or lesser class or character or lesser this or that, not that class exists, but that's what people say. If we're accused of being surrounded by these people, quickly we save face, quickly we uh, justify, quickly we start separating ourselves. The Lord unites himself fully to criminals in order so that we may, we the criminals, may fully unite ourselves to the crucified Lord. Have a beautiful day.